My name is John from Coonley Life Church, and this is Meals Ready to Eat from the Bible. Hey, YouTubers, don't forget to give us a like and a subscribe, and if you hit that bell icon, you'll get notified anytime we upload a new video. Facebookers, give us a thumbs up, and don't forget to follow us also and share us with all your friends. And everybody, please leave a comment. We really appreciate it. Well, again, today's episode is We Are Changed. You're changed, I'm changed. And no matter how badly we start out, Jesus can rescue us. He can redeem us. He can reconcile us. We can be renewed, restored, and revived by Jesus. We're going to be taking a look at Colossians 1, 21 through 23, a couple other scriptures too, and let's go see what God has to say to us in this passage today. Well, to begin with, the way we end up once we start to follow Jesus is drastically, amazingly, completely different than the way we start out. We cannot make this change, though. You know, we're not capable of turning ourselves around or picking ourselves up by our bootstraps, as they say, but Jesus can. And in fact, Jesus, being God, is the only one, God is the only one that can make this change in us. We can't do it for ourselves. So let's go take a look at Colossians 1, 21 through 23. Get that up on the screen, and we'll read it for you. And although you were previously alienated and hostile in attitude and engaged in evil deeds, yet he has now reconciled you in his body of flesh through death in order to present you, you and me, before him, holy and blameless and beyond reproach. If indeed you continue in the faith, firmly established and steadfast, not shifting from the hope of the gospel that you have heard, which was proclaimed in all creation under heaven, and of which I, Paul, was made a minister. So what's God saying? What's going on here? Well, to begin with, we were, meaning how we started out, started out in life, separated from God. And unless we hear and respond to the call of God, we're alienated from him. And we stay that way. So if we do not listen to God, if we ignore him, we end up living a life of selfish, evil deeds. They may seem good. Some of these things may seem good, but the motivation is always selfish. You know, we're not focused on other people. We're not focused on God, focused on me without the power of God to change us by his grace. Now, despite our sinful nature, Jesus has reconciled us to himself. So if we just go take a look at Ephesians chapter 2, um, okay. And, but God, this is chapter 2, verses 4 and five, 6. But God, being rich in mercy, because of his great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead in our wrongdoings, made us alive together with Christ. By grace you have been saved. I'm sorry, it's Ephesians 2, 4 and 5. Okay, so that's what they you know. We were alienated, we were different, we were his enemy, and he still loved us out of his great love. He's still working to reconcile us. And he does this in his fleshly body, meaning he was crucified and he died and was raised. So let's go take a look at uh, Romans 1, uh, 1 through 6. A lot of stuff in there, but talks about, you know, Paul, a bondservant of Christ Jesus, called as an apostle, set apart for the gospel of God, which he promised beforehand way beforehand, before creation, through his prophets and the Holy Scriptures, concerning his son who was born a descendant of David, according to the flesh, but who was declared the son of God, or declared, declared God, as it says in the Gospels, when he makes himself son, he makes himself equal to God, with power, according to the spirit of holiness, the resurrection from the dead, Jesus Christ our Lord, through whom we have received grace and apostleship, Paul's not saying me, he's not saying that guy over there, he's saying you and me, we. We have received grace and apostleship to bring about the obedience of faith among all the Gentiles on behalf of his name, among whom you also, you and me, are the called of Jesus Christ. Okay, so that means, you know, we are called of Jesus, we were changed when he rose from the dead, that change impacted us, affected us, and it's in his fleshly body, he was crucified and died and was raised. So the effect of that, if we take a look at Colossians uh, 3, uh, 1, back in Colossians again, therefore, if you have been raised in Christ, with Christ, keep seeking the things that are above where Christ is. So we see, since we have been raised, which is another word for if, with Christ, that dead, that flesh that bedeviled us, kept us from doing right, is now gone. It's now 
nailed to the cross with Jesus. And that is what God has done for us. Now, because Jesus is God, he can make us holy and blameless and beyond reproach. So when he died on the cross, that's what he did. That's what he accomplished. He came for us and he makes us holy and blameless and beyond reproach, firmly established, steadfast. Now, firmly established means to be on the rock, founded on the foundation of Jesus. And steadfast does not mean you go forward every day, all day, perfectly. It means you put your eyes on the prize, on Jesus Christ and what he has for you, and keep going. Mess up, get back up, repent, move forward. That's living by faith. Living by faith and being steadfast is not being perfect. It's keeping your eyes on Jesus and going forward. So we stay on the hope of the gospel. And the same gospel was preached everywhere, proclaimed everywhere to all people, to you and to me. And we're to take part in that proclamation. And that is good news. We meet Sunday, 1030 in the morning at 20 West Main Street, Catskill, New York. Come on by. I think you'll like it. If you can't make it, you can stream our service live on YouTube or Facebook. And don't forget to follow us throughout the week for devotions and times of sharing from our leaders and our staff. Once again, thanks for watching.